from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Visitors to Rat Park Recreation Area can now enjoy a special tribute to area veterans. Dedication ceremonies for a new Veterans Memorial take place tomorrow morning at the park located at 1769 Highway 48 north of Shenandoah. Placed on the west end of the park between the campground and the lake, the memorial entails a giant rock with a plaque honoring area veterans. Kayla Varelis is a VA whole health coach with Shenandoah's VA community-based outpatient clinic. Varelis tells KMA News a local veteran suggested the project in a discussion at the CBOC one year ago. Varelis says the veteran felt Rat Park was a special place for the memorial. He spends a lot of time there for himself. He also spends a lot of time there with his family as far as fishing. They picnic there. They even camp out there. And then he also has other veterans that focus in that particular area. And so they wanted to use that as a memorial for other veterans to visit and really just use it as a centerpiece. Three, two, one. And those dedication ceremonies taking place at 10 tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, at Rat Park Recreation Area, north of Shenandoah. Veterans Administration officials are showcasing Shenandoah's Veterans Health Facility this weekend as well. KMA Land veterans or KMA Land residents are invited to an open house at Shenandoah's VA Community-Based Outpatient Clinic, or CBOC, Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Joyce Ports is a CBOC's nurse manager, Ports tells KMA News it's the first real open house for the facility since it opened about four years ago, replacing the former location at the Orchard Corner Shopping Center on Highway 59. State transportation officials celebrated the near completion of an almost two decades long interstate improvement project in Council Bluffs earlier this week. On Tuesday, Iowa Department of Transportation officials plus contractors, designers, stakeholders, and elected officials held ribbon-cutting ceremonies for the Council Bluffs Interstate System Improvement Program. Originally broken into five segments, the expansive project included improvements to Interstates 2980 and 480, which converge in and around Council Bluffs. And to help recoup some of the cost of police officers monitoring the event, Clarinda officials have implemented a fee to close off a section of road for a street dance. Earlier this week, the Clarinda City Council unanimously approved a request to block off West Washington Street from 16th to 17th Streets for a street dance in front of the Indeclare Bar from 4 p.m. August 17th to 2 a.m. August 18th for a $200 permit fee. KMA on track weather is sunny today with highs in the upper 80s. Tonight, increasing clouds, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, with a low in the mid-60s. Showers and thunderstorms likely tomorrow. In fact, an 80% chance of precip with highs in the upper 80s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and more news online at KMALand.com. Have a great weekend. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.